everyone. Hope you're having a wonderful and purposeful day. Welcome to the sixth episode in the series on the life of John Newton. In the previous episode, Newton had returned to England. He had two things on his mind, Polly and finding a steady source of income so he could marry Polly. In case you missed that episode, you can find it at the link here. If you remember, Newton had returned on the Greyhound, a ship owned by Joseph Manistee. This was the same Joseph Manistee that had offered Newton a job in Jamaica about six years ago. Newton was to be trained in overseeing a slave plantation owned by his father's friend, Joseph Manistee. Manistee must have heard about Newton's sailing skills through the Atlantic storm from Captain Swanick for he had asked Newton to captain a new ship in his fleet, a slave trading ship. Newton, with all his sailing and slave trading experience, was perfectly qualified for this. With this job offer in hand, Newton was finally able to propose to Polly. It wasn't the smoothest proposal. Newton was pretty nervous. Regardless, Polly said yes and Newton was overjoyed. They planned to get married after Newton's first African trip as Manistee's employee. Polly agreed to wait for Newton. For his first trip, Newton wanted to travel as the captain's assistant. The trading activities in Africa were brutal and inhumane, nothing Newton was not used to. Spiritually, Newton took a few steps backward on the journey to Africa. His hunger for God diminished. He gave in to the evil pleasures that were on offer on the ship. He was unable to overcome temptation. He was living a very inconsistent life, professing his love for Polly in his letters while living a sinful life. When the ship was docked at Charleston, South Carolina, Newton took some time to reflect on his wayward ways. And on his journey back to England, Newton returned to the path of seeking God. He was desperate for some Christian fellowship at this time, but did not find any on board the ship. After returning to England in the year 1750, Newton and Polly finally got married at St. Margaret's Church near Chatham. They were an unlikely couple. Polly came from a respectable family in a class-obsessed society. Newton had been at sea since the age of 10. There was nothing classy about him. He had no wealth to boast about and Polly brought nothing to the union. They were broke, but they were in love. Well, they couldn't just live on love alone. They had to make ends meet. The thought of leaving his new wife behind and sailing for an extended period of time on a Manistee ship was unbearable to Newton. He desperately tried to come up with alternate ways to support his new family. In the pursuit of easy money, he played the lottery and went further into debt. Eventually, accepting reality, Newton set sail to Africa for the first time as captain in August 1750. He was now very familiar with the journey and the activities that had to be performed. It was the same routine, sail to Africa, purchase slaves, and transport them to the slave markets in the West, sell them, and return home. In his letters and daily entries, he complained about the rising cost of slaves, the increasing competition from the buyers, and the unruly behavior of his crew and the slaves on board his ship. To add to his sorrows, he learned that his father drowned in a swimming accident in Hudson's Bay, Canada. He was heartbroken and longed to get back home to Polly. He spent his spare time in intellectual and spiritual pursuit, studying many books and spending much time in prayer. It's important to note that Newton never considered the incompatibility of Christianity with the slave trade. There was hardly a voice against the slave trade in the highly materialistic English society of that day. After his maiden voyage as captain, Newton would end up making two more slave trading trips with periods of rest in between that he used to spend with Polly. He 
he cherished his time at home. A few days before his fourth trip, Newton was suddenly hit with seizures and was temporarily paralyzed while at home with Bonnie. Newton did not have any known health issues and this sudden event puzzled the best doctors in Liverpool. He was now faced with the difficult choice to either risk his health and continue sailing or lose his source of income and his career. He wisely chose to accept the advice of his doctor and resign from his post as captain. This was the end of Newton's sailing career. In the next episode, we look at how Newton transitioned jobs and the challenges he faced while doing so. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Please like and share this video with your friends and family. Also, do subscribe to my channel if you've not already done so. Take care and I'll see you next time.